this video I will explain the relevance of the subdimension of the major dimension emotional stability. Well, um, also this is a complicated one. Just with uh, agreeableness, I don't know if you have seen this other film video about agreeableness. But that's the strange thing about emotional stability. It's often, first, it's also often labeled as neuroticism, but that's really a complicated, highly ambiguous uh, 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 word. I'd rather prefer emotional stability. Because the word neuroticism is not very reliable, because it's very multi-interpretive. To actually to say, if you're low, you're very relaxed, you're very uh, effective in coping with stressful situations, and when you're high, you're more tensed uh, and you find it difficult to uh, cope effectively with stressful situations like conflicts or frustrations. However, and I will say it quite directly immediately, strangely enough for effective entrepreneurship, for innovative entrepreneurship, which means you've got to detect new business models and implement them, low scores, one, two and three, are very much dysfunctional. Why? The strange thing is you're very much stress resistant, but that means that in your body, in your brain, uh, you, need to brain you need your brain for, you need brain learning for to solve complex problems and entrepreneurship is solving comp complex problems. Well, you lack the alertness when things go wrong. People with scores one, two and three, especially in that range, not so much four, but one, two and three, especially one and two, are too re relaxed to see the complexity of these uh, problems arising and frustrations. Also, when um, um, stakeholders or um, business coaches or future customers or prospect customers give their feedback and that they're not really enthusiastic, their body doesn't react to these signals with alertness because their, um, their arousal level in their body is very, very low which is a nice thing, but you're too relaxed and your brain needs alertness. It needs a higher arousal level. So if your scores are one and two on emotional stability, one, two and three, I congratulate you for being so relaxed, but take care because for innovative entrepreneurship, these scores are dysfunctional. Well, let's go into details. Um, the first one is anxiety, which means you're tensed. Um, Indeed, as if your score is one and two or maybe three, then you're very, very relaxed in complex situations, which means often you're underestimated. And sometimes, even if your stakeholders or customers or your business coaches or even your team members criticize your work, you seem pretty untouched because you don't, you know, verbally you probably express your low anxiety level. So that has a, has a disadvantage. But especially low scores, you're very relaxed in complex situations and it doesn't give your brain the stimulus, the motivation uh, to uh, uh, solve these uh, uh, complex problems in a highly alert way. High scores are also dysfunctional. We could talk about especially scores about 7, 8 and 9, especially 8 and 9. And these scores could mean that well, high scores and anxiety hamper your creative thinking. Because you need creative, complex thinking to solve complex and highly ambiguous problems. And entrepreneurship nowadays is about predicting uh, unpredict unpredictable, uh, ambiguous, complex cons consumer behaviors. So these high anxiety could uh, hamper the capacity, uh, so negatively influence the capacity to, uh, to, uh, for complex thinking. So seek contact with complex problems because these scores are very susceptible for social support. So talk to people and find a solution together. Two see more than one and it makes your anxiety levels uh, uh, go a little bit lower. It will reduce them a little bit so your creative thinking uh, will be enhanced. The second one is uh, coping with frustration. Especially high scores are quite negative because uh, it's quite important for effective innovative entrepreneurship to use frustrations as a source of information. We call it the contingency leverage uh, principle. You're using why am I frustrated and the individual entrepreneur or the small business has much more flexibility to analyze these frustrations, to seek what is going on and seek for innovative problems. Yes, so higher scores, seven, eight and nine, 
might make it difficult to use this entrepreneurial principle to analyze frustration, uh, um, uh, keep on going, seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, and especially uh, finding innovative solutions for complex problems when you're frustrated as an entrepreneur. The third one is despondency. It's a tendency to see things negative. It's just, it's, it's going to be, going to be a continuous story. Um, if you're high, especially 7, 8 and 9, you're frustrated and especially your self-efficacy, which means I can see, I see myself as a person who can tackle uh, complex problems, will be frustrated. Because your negative emotion, the despondency, you will label uh, the frustrations and the complex problems as difficult to use and not within your reach. And that's a pity because we found that if you talk about these problems together, you will find your own solutions. There's another side to despondency, which means if you're very low, um, you un again underestimate the complexity of problems and you seek easy solutions for complex problems. And especially if you're working in a team, this has a kind of, a, we found out by our own research, this has a kind of a negative effect uh, on other people. They don't find you very inspiring because they cope, they, they have higher scores mostly because uh, you're very, very low and uh, so your score is lower than the average. Uh, which means, and they think, ah, oh, uh, well, this team member, I like him, but he, is, uh, he really steps over complexities in a very, very relaxed way and I don't believe in his solutions. And that doesn't give the uh, necessary inspiration for team members, the necessary intellectual synergy to, to find creative solutions as a team, to develop a, a complex team vision which is a quite interesting phenomenon. Then um, self-consciousness, and that's a really important one from emotional stability, because it means uh, higher scores are you're very success susceptible to feedback, but lower scores you don't detect the necessary si signals. Um, uh, self-consciousness means you're very, very uh, uh, sensitive for social feedback, and if the feedback is a bit ambiguous or indirect, then the, if, you, if you have higher scores, then you will ask what's going on. Well, with lower scores, well, you can't satisfy anybody and you're missing quite essential feedback, so you're missing some quite essential uh, information because your body lacks the alertness to detect these very important signals, to analyze them further or go on questioning and asking deep questions. It hampers your uh, capacity for deep learning and which is quite important to solve complex problems, which you have to do as an entrepreneur. Impulsiveness is the fifth one, and it has also has two sides. If you're very low, you're a little impulsive and you're very goal-directed. However, sometimes entrepreneurship is very intuitive. Uh, intuition is a very important learning principle, so which means so if you're higher, your intuition is quite well developed, but take care that you're not running into every path uh, which opens for you because your impulsiveness leads you to all kinds of goals and solutions which will hamper your effectiveness. You've got to be goal-directed, uh, select multiple goals, but they've got to be aligned. And multiple goals means one, two, three, maximum four, but not 50. And if you're very high on impulsiveness, you're seeing possibilities everywhere which will hamper your effectiveness, of course. But if you're lower, trust your intuition and especially uh, open yourself to intuition and especially if you're coached or if you're talking to people, you're talking, uh, you're having network conversation, use your intuition, what's rising in your intuition, because your intuition of entrepreneurs is very strong, successful entrepreneurs. Okay, the last one is stress proneness, uh, which means you're stress resistant. If you are low, it means um, you effectively cope with stress and entrepreneurship regularly is stress. It's of lesser importance. If you are high, think about what am I doing in stressful situations and especially how can I solve them creatively and talk to people, talk to friends, talk to stakeholders and if you've got a business coach, well, talk to him and analyze it. And take care that these frustrations are analyzed and solved in a creative way and believe in yourself and don't immediately have this impulse that all I can't handle this stress, I can't handle this conflict, okay, leave it and I will search a job as, I don't know, civil agent uh, in the Ministry of Foreign, uh, Foreign Affairs. 
I'm just making the jokes. So yeah, take care that you don't uh, 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 you, you help yourself and effectively cope with stress. But analyze it.